<laughs> hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel as you can see this camera is not in a steady place so that means that we are doing something else today and that's something else is i'm gonna show you my shoes collection um because apparently people find this interesting to just nose in each other's stuff you know i know i find it interesting like when some of my youtubers post like room tour or jewelries or whatever makeup or i'm like i want to know i don't want to know what you own so i can you know get to that badass level well now that you think of me but here we go um we're gonna do a shoe tour we're, we're gonna do i'm just gonna show you my shoes because I'm out of ideas <laughs> and my best friend was like yeah that's fun to do so I'm like well here we go um so as you can see I put on my shoes here uh to show you and well we're just gonna go through them and uh, then you'll see what I wear on my feet yeah I think that's interesting okay so we're just gonna start we're in my room you guys if you haven't seen my room tour I will check it I will link it under here someone calling me no okay um and some people were asking for vlogs um but i just do not want to walk around every day with a camera in my hand and being like hi everyone we are doing this and that today like i am not like what's also happening with my hair like honey what's going on so um yeah i thought when i do things like this it maybe gives you a sense of vlogging you know what i mean so that's just what we're gonna do so i'm gonna show you my shoe collection i'm gonna turn you guys around oh jeez um so as you can see it is white black and white mostly and animal print that's literally it i just put the shoes down that or mean something to me or i that i wear well this these are literally all my shoes i don't have more shoes than this and this is a lot for me I think for most people as in yeah it's it's a lot because some people don't even have shoes so this is actually um <coughs> wow jesus okay uh cut it cut it off lottie okay so we have a white row and we have two black rows and animal print um so we're just gonna start i guess over here um i don't know how do people do this okay let me just go to the flow let me just go to the flow and just turn you all around again hi we're back okay so i'm at in the i'm in the round i'm sitting down um so basically no this is not handy jesus jesus okay we're just gonna do like this and you just have to pretend that my head is with you so i have the nike airs um and i got these recently in new york and i am in love with them because as you can see i do not own a lot of sneakers actually i do not own any sneakers except for these um and i do have also nike sneakers to dance in like to teach but i do not wear them like um in, in on a regular basis as in in my everyday life but these y'all i love these so much they are so comfortable and they are just light and you can just put them under everything so that was a really good buy then i also have the white buffaloes these are with a very large platform because i am a midget so this will give me like five centimeters what is this five, yeah maybe like on its high it's, it's five centimeters uh it will make me look taller than i actually am um but they are very heavy like they are very heavy on the foot and i get blisters in them easily like on my on my little ass toes so i do love them but they are a little bit um yeah not really uncomfortable but like you can walk in these for hours in the afternoon for example and these no 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 like you can wear them to a party but um then afterwards you you want to kick them off then my dr martin's collection starts so i have the marble white ones and it's with a normal um plateau or <laughs> how do you say that platform is that how you call it um so yeah i this these were like special edition 
and uh, there's this little store in Rotterdam. What's it called? Like you have the Dr. Martin store, but you have another store that also sells Dr. Martin's, and they have like sales, and they have like the shoes that just uh, have to go away. What's his name? Punch the Punch. Yeah, I guess the Punch. So if you're from Rotterdam, uh, go to that. It's on the Oude Binnenweg, and um, yeah, they have Dr. Martin's and sales, and I bought these there. Um, very happy with them. They are very cool. They are like sort of plastic shiny as rubber or something um so yeah absolutely love them okay then we're gonna head over to the other side let me scoop my ass <laughs> this honey listen to me you gotta move okay so now we're here then i also have these sandals um also got them on sale somewhere on his site and honestly i do not wear these a lot because i have like a wide foot and this is very narrow so blisters honey blisters represent but i love how they look and i love how they are uh on me and like you know they're so cool but uh it's a pain in the ass to walk in love these also dr martin's cute you can wear them under a dress white so they get like dirty easily but hey we all gotta settle for something don't we so yeah definitely love these then i get to my steve madden heels got these in new york and honey how cute and i got a little patch in it so you do not slide like all to the front uh, still you do though it's it's kind of a pain in the ass heel because you will this will hurt as a motherfucker i wore them to the kelvin klein event in new york and my feet were hurting like hell at one point yeah so uh, i love how cute they are but they are a little bit painful but funny story about steve madden let me story time um so steve madden is like one of my favorite brands because um look when i was younger and i think oh this is annoying wait can i put this somewhere this is annoying as hell okay wait we're just gonna do a ground session because i do not want to hold this the oh this is not working wait maybe here can you see me now no jesus this is hard as hell wait oh i'm sorry for this to be so messy oh jesus oh wait yeah let me put y'all here ah look at this boom boom a spot and you can see me and i can ow ow oh jesus well my head is a little low but you can still see me um so steve madden when i was 14 and there were not a lot of clothes uh, for plus size because that's like 10 years ago and almost 10 years like okay well yeah 14 something like that there were not a lot of plus size clothes so the only things that always fit me were shoes and heels and honey when I was 13 14 15 years old I went to school with motherfucking platforms I can't even tell you heels that were like 20 centimeters 15 centimeters crazy and I I went on a side bicycle with my best friend. We both went on our fucking heels to high school. Like, what the fuck? Like, I didn't understand that my mom didn't whoop my ass. Like, what the hell are you doing, Lottie? But, you know, it was fashion, honey. Lick it up. So, that's what I did. And that's why I love Steve Madden. Because they had a shop in Rotterdam. And it was literally beside the Dr. Marnish. So, blah, blah, blah. It was literally next to the Dr. Martin store. And funny story as well. Um, so you have in Rotterdam the line bomb and then you have the Dr. Martin store literally next to it is a Kelvin Klein and I work with Dr. Martin's I'm working with Kelvin Klein so now I'm also gonna work with Steve Madden because it was on the same row it doesn't exist anymore in Rotterdam unfortunately but still honey that's called manifesting that's called the future is telling you like things are about to happen but getting back to Steve Madden so they had a store on the line bomb and with my best friend we went in every time but those heels were so fucking expensive for us 
that we could never buy a pair but we would fit them and we would always check out the sale because you know we wanted the cute ass heels and huh, blah, blah, blah. but then always we ended up going back to Hanem and buying a pair of heels there um but still y'all i bought heels of my grandma always like i have a pair here that i just can't throw away because these were my favorites that i bought with her and i walked on these forever and always and they are like falling apart but i just i'm not gonna throw them away because they mean so much to me and i have another pair they are in my uh in my box and that was the last pair i actually bought with her before she died so heels are a very sentimental thing for me basically um, so yeah and also from my childhood you know I bought those because they those were the only things that didn't exclude any size you know maybe if you have like very large feet uh, which is a pain in the ass by society as in not pay yeah it's a pain in the ass for you but uh, they should also just make shoes that go up in a very high size you know so i understand that then that's a pain in the ass but it didn't exclude me and my fatness you know shoes didn't exclude that so that's why i loved heels and i just like two weeks ago i threw all my old heels away because i kept them in a box because i just couldn't but i was like yeah what am i i didn't throw them away i give them i gave them to a, a second hand shop so yeah y'all so that's the story about heels so yeah that's fun that makes me happy you know times yeah that was just my passion about heels together with my best friend love them and my last penny my last cent my last euros went to heels i'm not kidding you i'm not kidding you okay so turning around again bye okay but since now i'm a grandma Y'all are a pain in the ass. Go away. But since I'm a grandma, I do not go higher than this. <laughs> and I literally used to wear such high heels. I can't even explain to you. So, as you can see, again, low. Oh, what the hell is this? Go away. Love these as well. These are black from Topshop. Super cute. Super easy to walk on. And this is, you know, getting some blisters. But once you walk them out, they are great. And yeah, just love these as well. So now we go to my black Dr. Martens. These were like, I guess, not my first pair, but my second pair. As you can see, a lot of dust. I haven't worn them in a long time. And as you can see, they're also like worn out. Um, but yeah, I have walked these, y'all. I have been to Kenya in these. So these souls carry a lot of stories so never ever giving those away in my life okay then we have the jadens and love these as well so these literally basically these but then with a large sole with a large platform and absolutely love them i wear them all the time as you can see as well um so yeah but now i'm into platform and not into this anymore because i am a midget so as you can see platform 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 um because yeah it's just more of it's just more my thing than these whoo, love these so much it's like yeah i don't know i just love them and these i got from uh, my dr martin's campaign you know i obviously got paid but i also got to choose one pair of shoes and this was my pair that i choose for that shoe right love it so much love it okay 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 make room make room then i have my church platforms as well so it has like little um how do you call it in english uh bordure i don't know stitches it has stitches on it and love these as well and they are so comfortable like i didn't have to um walk these out <laughs> how do you say that wear them out i have no clue I have no clue. And then last for my Dr. Martens, my newest pair are these also sponsored from Dr. Martens, uh, the vegan uh, Jadens. And these are actually tight, I'm not gonna lie. I always wear 39. Um, these are all 39 Dr. Martens. And these are, these are gonna be a pain in the ass to walk on, as in to make them comfortable. 
yeah but i love them i love that how they're black and they are vegan um so yeah cool then we're back at my favorite heels these are literally my favorite heels as you can see you can literally see my toes in it um because it has like a large heel and this my loves also this when you are fat look it is not it is a high heel but as you can see this is not this is not high you see because some heels when you do not have a platform the heel ends here and that for your like look for example let me grab a pair that is high look i also got these ones but i didn't put them in because i only wear this for shoots and not like to go out like this look at the curve of this and this look at the difference like this is boom going low but honey this is the secret get yourself a heel that has a large platform so that your your foot is actually just like curved a little bit and not like this because this is a pain in the motherfucking ass and you can't walk on this but these y'all oh love it and also steady like when you're fat and you have a big body and you have a lot you also need just you, you need steady heels you know this is going to be a pain in the ass some women can walk on them i just cannot and i do not want to but these oh yes oh jesus they're from hanem divided as you can see i got them four years ago i don't know i've had them for a long time but absolutely adore these they also got these heels also little who got these when i was 18 on my 18th birthday for my grandma for my other grandma um yeah love them as well love the glitters and these were actually the first pair of heels and shoes that i bought that were in like this style as in with the chains with the black and like and like just tough you know and that's where this all happened <laughs> that's where this all came from these were my first that were like in that style and i was like oh my god am i a gothic ah oh jesus oh jesus I almost dropped my camera <laughs> so that was my first pair that were like tough and sort of gothic ish then i got my ox pantoffles oh my ox slippers and honey if you are looking for slippers i live in these things as you can see they're already grumpy as hell but i live in them they are fantastic yeah total love them um and also flip-flops black flip-flops i buy new ones every summer almost because i welcome them so much these are also from last summer as you can see they are worn out also wear them to the sauna uh, because they are just it's handy and it always fits with everything if you just need a quick slipper boom do it then i got these as well so here we come with my animal print birkenstocks with the with the leopard print very cute love them and they are good for your feet so good and then at last we got these heels the longest they are from pretty little thing um, <laughs> I don't know if you follow me on Instagram, but please look up the video in which I'm trying to put these on and may I promise you it will give you a laugh. It will give you a bloody laugh. I'm, I'm sure of it. I'm sure it will. So yeah, these are my shoes. This is my collection. I hope y'all liked it. Yeah. Wait, let me also get like a thumbnail because I always forget that. I also forget a thumbnail. No, this is not working. Hello, sharpen. Sharpen for me. Mate, what are you doing? No, this is stupid. No, this is also stupid. Well, it's fine. It's fine. Um, so, yeah, this was it. I hope you enjoyed. These are my shoes. Um, so, I got Nike. I got Buffalo. I got Dr. Martens. And I got Uggs, I got Havana's, Burger Socks, and H&M. Um, yeah. Verifer Island and Topshop, Steve Madden. That's it. Oh, Jesus. And Pretty Little Thing. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. These were my shoes. And um, thank you so much for watching again. I love you. I'm proud of you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave some love, share my page with your friends and um push the notification button if you want to be notified with a new video and i'll see you tomorrow bye love Ooh.